It's not every day you get a chance to hoop it up with seven foot tall former NBA pro Joe Klein. But Matthew did. He got right after it, loves basketball, very polite, uh, very polite, and just a, a, a sweet kid. I was, I was catching his passes. We passed the ball, and and then I dunked on, on a, I, I shot and made it. Matthew doesn't get this kind of attention. The 13-year-old lives with his foster mom, and he is waiting, waiting to be adopted. I wanted like a family with with kids and with the dad and mom. Tough words, but back on the hardwood, a surprise. The Catholic high school dog, Titus, uninvited, but showed up to our shoot anyway. <laughs> and he won't leave him alone. How hard it must be to look around and see a lot of people with families and doing things and you don't have one. I just, I can't. I can't imagine. Because they're children without a home, without a permanent home. And so, so many of them have the um, idea that what's next? When am I moving? You know, when's the ball going to drop? The ball dropped literally on the Rockets' home court. 13 year old Matthew, worn out by some of the school's players. Right now, I'm just tired. Basketball's hard, isn't it? <laughs> what do you cherish most in life? Family, 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 family. And then now you meet somebody who doesn't have a family. And it's very hard to comprehend. Even tougher for a young boy to live it. But pictures with the team and the coaches bring smiles. And this Thanksgiving, gratitude. I'll say thank you for playing with me. During the holidays where they should have the most feeling of security and safety and stability, it is harder for them. And so it's our goal that this will be the last holiday he has to spend alone. He's a good kid, good kid. 